Alright, welcome back to WMAC now with your host Chuck Stevenson coming at you with a fight announcement out of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. So the UFC has booked a strawweight bout between Kay Hansen and Corey McKenna for their November 14th event. Now this is coming from Marcel Dorf on Twitter. You can follow him at BigMarcel24. Taking a look at their stats, they're the same age, 21 years old. Hansen's the more experienced fighter, 7-3. To McKenna's 5-1. Hanson is coming off a win over Jin Yu Fry in the UFC in her UFC debut on June 27th. McKenna just picked up a win over LFA champion Vanessa Demopoulos last week on the Dana White's Contender Series. Uh, McKenna is 1 inch taller, 5 feet 3 inches, 160 centimeters, to Hanson's 5 feet 2 inches, 157 centimeters. However, Hansen has a nice reach advantage, 63 inches, 168 centimeters, to McKenna's 58 and a half inches, 149 centimeters. So, what do I think of this matchup here? Um, well, for Kay Hansen, this is at best a lateral move sideways. At worst, it's like a step back. She just made her... UFC debut on short notice, like I think like 10 days notice against Jin Yu Fry, who was moving up from Adam Waite. So her UFC debut came against, granted a former champion, but an Adam Waite nonetheless, moving up for the first time. Now she's getting her second fight against someone who just got signed a week ago. It'll be, so it'll be three months uh, since she got signed when she make, McKenna makes her debut. Uh, for McKenna, honestly, this is probably the best matchup for her because, honestly, I do not think she should have been signed last week. I think she should have been put on a developmental contract. Had she had anyone else in her corner besides Uriah Faber, I don't think she would have gotten signed. It was a nice win over Vanessa Demopoulos, and I keep meaning to go back and review that fight. But it wasn't dom it wasn't like totally dominant and she didn't show, you know, a hunger for the finish at any point in the fight, in my opinion. It was an alright win. But compared to some of the other fights that have been signed from Dana White's contender series, I I don't think that was like a contract worthy fight. But she had Uriah Faber in her corner. You have Uriah Faber in your corner, you're getting signed. So for Hansen. At best, it's a sideways move. At worst, it's a step back. For McKenna, I mean, who else are they really going to match her up with in, in that amount of time that she would actually have a chance against? Now, as far as the actual fight mechanics goes, I think McKenna has improved her striking at Team Alpha Male. She's really worked on her striking a lot. I think she actually has better striking than Hanson. On the ground, though, is where Hansen is going to give her a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Hansen is no joke on the ground. Now, granted, McKenna training at Team Alpha Male, a lot of wrestlers out there, but Demopoulos was giving her some trouble on the ground, and Hans Demopoulos is the type of fighter that Kay Hansen would eat for breakfast. So, early pick here, I'm gonna go with Kay Hansen to win. Eventually, she's going to get McKenna down. McKenna might win on the feet for a little bit, but eventually Hanson's going to get McKenna down, and then Hanson's going to go to work on her. I think it'll be very different watching McKenna fight off of her back compared to when she was always on top against Demopoulos last week on the Contender Series. All right, so those are my early thoughts on this fight. It's going down November 14th. In the UFC, let me know your thoughts on the matchup in the comments down below. Of course, if you liked the video, please give it a like and share it as well. And hey, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMAC Now, the most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.